Yeah, so usually lung cancer will be radiographically diagnosed first, meaning we have a scan. So a scan will either be, usually it's a CAT scan. Sometimes it can be a PET scan, a PET scan versus a CAT scan. So the CAT scan is when we do like an X-ray up and down, and it's just the traditional lower dose radiation. And what you're looking at is things that are very dense versus things that are not very dense. So your lungs are not very dense. It's mostly air. Tumor is pretty dense. So you can see the difference between the tumor and the lung, and that shows you the cancer. A PET scan shows metabolic activity. So things that are using a lot of sugar, that are eating a lot, these are things like infections can do it, inflammation can do it, cancers can do it. So that will give you a signal that something's abnormal there. And then that'll tell us, hey, why don't we biopsy that? So that's how you, you kind of get the suspicion that there's a cancer there. And then you go in and you know we say, tumor's a rumor, tissue's the issue. You need to get a piece of tissue. So you need to get some sampling. Now, usually that's going to be a needle through a bronchoscopy where someone goes through the, the windpipe, through the mouth, uh, while you're sedated. And then they take a needle biopsy of the tumor area. And then also probably some of the lymph nodes, the areas that drain the tumor and kind of, or drain the lungs and kind of clean the area that can sometimes get cancer in it too. So they take samplings of those. Alternatively, you can get a needle biopsy from the outside of the lung. So if your tumor is on, you know, the outside closer to the rib cage, they might have to go through the skin and go that way. We call that a CT guided biopsy as opposed to a bronchoscopic or Know, a bronchoscopy biopsy. Uh, but those are the two ways we typically get the diagnosis. Now, we might also get information from the blood, but that wouldn't at this stage be a diagnostic biopsy. We hope you liked this video. To support cancer research and get clear expert answers about cancer, follow us and visit crackingcancer.org to join the cracking cancer community.